industry needs people who understands the core uh, shipping and who can process data hi everyone jai hind jai bharat jai mata di welcome to my youtube channel i have got captain rana with me who has been helping thousands of seafarers today to make their transition successfully and happily from ship to shore so if you are a merchant navy officer a decadet a third officer a second officer a chief officer a captain this is a very generic video we will be cover we will be covering options that you have if you want to ship from ship to shore and later on please keep watching because we'll be covering each and every thing in detail so sir the first video today is ki if i am a merchant navy officer and i want to ship from ship to shore what all options do i have in yeah. course shipping sure sure um thanks for having me pranit and uh, again so uh, being a deck officer what happens is um the kind of administrative skills right the kind of people management people interaction skills that a person gets over a period of time is valued a lot by the industry and uh, um, you know any industry as such right um so we could utilize our core skills which is navigation cargo handling and we could also within the shipping or outside shipping as well so let's focus on within shipping how can we utilize these skills so number one and which is fairly upcoming is vessel routing right now a vessel has to go from place a to place b there are 100 ways to go honestly uh, which is the most efficient way of taking uh, using the current the wind um the uh, you know checking for the storms that's a router's job and which you can assi assist the ship's captain by sitting ashore and a lot of companies are doing it uh, it helps to save the fuel of the uh, vessel if, if your route is planned properly so so which is what you call vessel routing it's being named in different terminology by different companies but essentially that's not one thing okay? number two is commercial shipping right and that's where a lot of lot of deck side marine officers go right um, a little advantage which they have is because they manage the cargo uh, so they are able to little bit more understand um, how would a cargo behave in uh or whether the compatibility of cargo with the previous or the upcoming cargo is there so hence a little bit uh edge that the deck officers have over you know anyone else um in the commercial shipping commercial shipping is post fix uh, prefix or it could be operations right number 3 is qhsc right uh, quality health safety environment wherein um, um the policies um basis which a work needs to be done policies which would govern uh, the uh, uh, how a person works on the vessel um, so all all of those things where um, is is where a deck officer can right marine surveys right um, now these um, surveys could be um, you know about cargo uh, it could be navigation um, surveys it could be um, you know uh, overall about the vessel surveys so that's the uh, another area where you could um one more area with, where a uh, uh, deck officer can get into is uh, um your business analyst right when i say business analyst what it means is someone who can convert the process uh, to a, a tech guy who is essentially building a product right and over here you require a subject matter expert and that's where a deck officer can easily work and i've seen people working for ibm uh, for clark tech mahindra um, in a business analyst role right um, another is training right um, so you go on board a vessel you can train before you go on board a vessel some training is required uh, you need training on simulators so where a mariner can help right um then uh, last but not the least uh, data management skills right um, now again the data most of the data is received from machineries but there is a lot of data which is also received from the navigation um, side as well right uh, from the navigation equipments about weather and all and uh, you know uh, again mariners are or or deck side persons are better placed to understand that data process them using various tools which they learn 
and then make meaningful information out of it and and give it to the stakeholders so uh, data management is also where a deck officer can easily get it i, I missed on one uh, place where the deck officers can also go and that is crewing right um so sending people on the vessel requires a little bit of you know um you people skills right and which a deck officer with because of so much of interaction with so many stakeholders that a person is easily able to develop those and so in crewing also you see fair amount of deck side people and that's where um, you know uh, a deck officer could also be. sir i'll share my two cents on this i recently in dehradun met a marine tech company those who are developing softwares for shipping companies and they're doing damn good so i met them and they are into this vessel routing thing as well so they have got these captains even junior officers out there those who are helping them understand the system so that they can develop the software and they can do better with it because a mariner can get better inputs understand them and make it a better software right sir so this is there commercial shipping man know a chief officer was sailing in, sailing with me when i was a chief engineer on a bulk carrier he sailed all his life on a bulk carrier but today he is into chartering of a liner company and doing very well for himself in noida qhsc all my life i've seen internal auditors external auditors always captains or even chief officers doing well for themselves marine surveys again one and the same thing i would say either in the company or outside the company maybe for internal or external audits business analyst is something new training me sir it comes naturally वो डेली हर सैटरडे को ट्रेनिंग करवाते 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 पार्ट बन जाता है सो इवन इन एज अ टीचर्स मेरिटाइम फैकल्टी फॉर मेरिटाइम ट्रेनिंग इंस्टीट्यूट्स वन ऑफ द पीपल अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैन यस एट मेरिटाइम इवन एट इंस्टीट्यूट टीचिंग स्टूडेंट्स दो वॉन्ट टू गो फॉर एम यू क्लास सेकेंड मेड शीप एट एग्जाम एज वेल एंड डेटा मैनेजमेंट आई गेस एवरी यंगस्टर आउट देर वॉन्ट टू गो फ्रॉम शिप टू शोर दिस इज दी लेटेस्ट इन थिंग इफ आई एम नॉट रॉन्ग सर दिस इज योर डोमेन इंडस्ट्री नीड्स पीपल हु अंडरस्टैंड द कोर शिपिंग एंड हु कैन प्रोसेस डेटा एंड इफ यू हैव दैट इफ यू डन अपल ऑफ प्रोजेक्ट आई मीन यू जस्ट हैव टू गेट योर सी वी आउट एंड कंपनीज विल ग्रैब यू एंड पे यू वॉट एवर यू आस्क सो कम्प्लीटली अग्रीड सर थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर दिस लवली वीडियो फॉर ऑल दोज पीपल मोचनिंग ऑफिसर्स दो वॉन्ट टू गो फ्रॉम शिप टू शोर यू कैन मेल ऑन दी ईमेल आई डी बिलो एंड वी आर देर टू हेल्प यू गाइड यू सो दैट यू कैन मेक अ सक्सेसफुल हैप्पी एंड अ सेटिस्फाइड ट्रांजेक्शन विद दिस डू वॉच दी नेक्स्ट वीडियो दीरीज वे आर गोइंग टू कवर हाउ अ मर्चेंट नेवी ऑफिसर कैन सक्सेसफुल ट्रांजेक्शन फ्रॉम शिप टू शोर in not in core shipping but in the maritime fraternity but outside core shipping so let's stay tuned thank you captain rana jai hind jai bharat jai mata thank you so much hi jai hind jai bharat jai mata i hope you like the video and now right now as a deck officer maybe you're thinking of transitioning from ship to show there is no harm provided you make a well informed right decision so as a sea fair merchant navy decoded website has provided a free course for you guys the course you can see out here and in this course you can find all the options as a third officer second officer chief officer or captain you have got in core shipping outside core shipping outside shipping what can be the job profile what kind of skill set is required uh, what is the salary that you can expect everything is there in this course so please go ahead enroll in this course the course link is in the description box as well as in the comment section jai hind jai bharat jai mata